Hi, Gino. Um, it's Christina from The Upcoming. It's so lovely to speak with you today. Congratulations on the amazing film. So would you like to start off by telling us what Treading Water is about and what people can expect when they watch it? Treading Water is a, a character study. It's a love story set on the backdrop of mental health issues, supported housing and addiction. It's about people dealing with multiple issues and limited choices. It's set in Manchester and it starts with Danny coming out of prison, going into supported housing and he, he suffers with really violent intrusive thoughts and they're really haunting for him. So he self-medicates heroin, he feels really isolated and his family support structure is not really working for him. Until he meets Laura and there's a connection, a spark and yet he goes all in on Laura and he thinks if he gets with Laura it's going to change his life. There's a lot of banter and tenderness. Uh, there's a lot of debauchery and fun in the supported house. But there's also a lot of pressure stemming from Laura's situation with a, a controlling boyfriend. And it really just ratchets up towards the end. And could you share what sparked the idea for this film? Well, there's a few things that spark it. Um, one of the things was I, I used to make films with people in supported housing, teach them camera skills and stuff like that. And yeah, I could just see, you know, in there, they were dealing with loads of stuff, you know, like family problems. They were dealing with um, mental health issues, physical health issues, addiction. But then also, they were having a real good time. There was a lot of banter. They were having a go. They, they did have aspirations. And I thought that that world and those types of characters would be great to explore. And then I, I read a book on Tourette's um, and there was this girl in it who she was, she had Tourette's, but she also had OCD. Um, she had a, a, a little bit of agoraphobia. She had problems with her, her, her family as well. And I, it was just, I kept thinking about, you're not dealing with one thing, you're dealing with lots of things. And I feel like some of the decisions you make are based around everything that you're dealing with in your environment. So sometimes it's hard to make a good decision or, you know, when, when you're faced with, with, with limited choices. So what were some of the challenges during the process of making the film? Yeah, the initial challenge is always um, trying to, to get the funds together. You know, it's, a, it's hard to get the money. But then actually Ben, the producer, he was, he was in a position to invest and I had a little bit of money, we had the majority of the money and I showed him the script and, and yeah and then we were able to get that. It's a very low budget film and then after that I think it's just, you realise you have to, because it's, it's a very independent film, you have to do everything yourself. So, it, you know, like the casting, we were, we, we had some connections with agents, Ben had more than me, um, we're scouring the internet. And then, yeah, it's just literally going, right, what do we have to do next? What do we have to do next? And, and setting deadlines and going, right, we're going to shoot in May, so let's just shoot and let's do it. And we were lucky in the sense that we didn't make every week two packs. So we did three or four day weeks. So if we had to fight fires along the way in the shoot, we had a few days to sort that out. But yeah, it's just, it's it's challenging, but it's actually an enjoyable process. I mean, you speak a lot about the characters of the film, which makes a lot of sense, because it really is a character study. Um, I was wondering, because a lot of the film is composed of young actors. Was it hard to find the right young actors? It was hard in some ways, but I felt like we didn't do auditions where it was just one in, one out. We really workshopped it and we did lots of impro scenes around the script. So we gave lots of these young actors the opportunity to get stuck into the part and explore the characters. And actually, the way I work is I, I impro into the scene, impro during the scene and impro out of the scene. So I get some takes which is totally on script, but then some which is off script as well. You kind of learn when you're auditioning in this way who who's very creative. Based on that, we met a lot of creative actors and we, we filled it with the most creative people we could find. Some, some of the people didn't even always look initially how we imagined the characters to look, but then they were just right for the part. And I think, uh, yes, it's difficult, but um, yeah, we just put a lot of effort into that and I think that was really important. Casting was massive for us. Do you feel like some members of the cast, some of the actors, influenced the film in, with their perspectives? Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. I mean, you'll see scenes all along the way. I mean, there's a great scene with Danny and Laura at the canal. Danny starts singing a, a song um, and that was totally improvised. So it was like he was supposed to talk about wanting to be in an indie band, you know, but but then 
she she challenged him to sing and 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 then he just come out with it and it was fantastic so yet yeah, all the time their creativity is shaping but and actually there's a bit where in that same scene i mean that scene was full of it but there's a bit where laura um played by becky she tricks him when um when she's when the baby's kicking and i don't want to give it away but essentially again that was improvised that little moment so yeah, there's lots of bits where these actors are shaping the story. So speaking of shaping the story, what were some of the main sources of influences or inspiration? Other films or books or music or even your own experiences or people that particularly influenced this film? Yeah, I mean, I've always liked character studies. So I like films like The Wrestler. I like um, Dallas Buyers Club. And then even like multiple character studies like 21 Grams and um, This Is England. Oh, Fish Tank's a great character study. So yeah, I'd say uh, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> There's lots of different films that, you know, I could definitely, you know, sort of take inspiration from. Nil by Mal. I I read a book, it was about someone with Tourette's and she wasn't just dealing with Tourette's, she was dealing with alcohol issues, she was dealing with OCD, uh, she was dealing with problems with her, her family, um, sometimes agoraphobic. So you kind of take this idea of people dealing with multiple issues and having limited choices. Um, and then with intrusive thoughts, I just think, you know, I read a book on, on Puro, I don't know if you've heard of it, but that's the, the type of thing that Danny's got, it's a form of OCD. And those intrusive thoughts, I, I think it, it's harrowing. I mean, I've definitely had intrusive thoughts where I've thought of driving into oncoming traffic or, or I don't know, jumping in front of a train. And so I've always thought, why do I think that? And, I, you know, I know that there's a sliding scale of people, you know, Lots of people have unusual thoughts. But the fact that it's actually OCD and it's haunting him and he can't function in everyday life, which is a, a genuine condition, I think it, it did make me think, how would a person get through that and live a, a, a normal life, if you know what I mean? So I, I wanted the audience to be able to empathise with that. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks very much.